Okay, it's the 15th of September, 2023, 20 past nine. And I just did my one hour songwriting and it felt good today. It was just one of those sort of sessions that was oh, felt good. And I really, really felt like I wanted to do it and I wanted to be there yesterday. I was not as into it. But usually, I'll, like, when I get into it, it feels good. Um, and um, I basically was working on, on a song that I'm trying to finish and uh, it's just, it's finished, but I just want to, like, sort of try different things with it. Like, today I was, like, leave, like le leaving out certain words uh, to see, if, like, diff basically different versions of the same song, slight variations, like, and slightly different keys and, like, stuff like that. And then at a certain point I have this, like, harmonious ting where I feel like, oh, that's the version that I like, and I haven't quite got that yet. But I came up with three lessons for today and the first one is all right so towards the end of the session even though i was mainly working on one song i started to look at a different song and i've got this song that's got really good tune and a really good sort of beat and it, and it's got a really good hook but it's not really about anything meaningful it's just kind of sitting there so i decided to mix that song with a there's just a lyric that I really want to put into a song and I managed to get it into this other song so I kind of combine the two together and that's great when that happens because I know that I've got a brilliant song now if I just have to go and they might it might take a, like ages to finish the lyrics but I got it's like I do that a lot I've noticed it's like a song where the the tune and the hook and the and you like everything about it but it's just not that meaningful Sometimes you can just put it out and it's not that much of a meaning, meaningful song, but I feel that's sometimes a waste because it could have been better. Uh, so I mixed it with a, just a, a lyric that I um, I wanted to get into the song. And I and I made like a, a list of like random lyrics. I've got like in, in my notes, like random lyrics that I wanted to get into the song. So I just kind of looked at them and I was like, all oh, right, I can, maybe I can get that in. And, just, and it just took me a while to get it in there, but it's just really just... Uh, you know, if you did de determine to write a good song about, about, and you determine to write about a certain thing, I think it's possible to do. You just got to eventually get a good tune and eventually get and combine it, and that's a really nice feeling when you're like, ah, yes, that'll be another good song. Um, and and I did that towards the end of the session, right? And so I could have gone past an hour and carried on doing it, but the second lesson is, even though I could have carried on writing because I felt like I got an idea and I could have like, you know, spent a few more hours like finishing this. I feel like it's okay to stop because I know that tomorrow I have something to work on and it keeps a nice drip feed of, of stuff to work on, which feels good. As opposed to the, the, the sort of pain that you get when you finish an album and you have, and you have writer's block and you have nothing. Um, I think that's similar with a lot of areas of life. It's like, it's nice to have just like a drip feed of something to do so you don't have to get overwhelmed by just starting with a blank page so tomorrow I'll, i know that i'll probably work on that or because i'm going to go for a walk now i'm going to go for like a two hour walk now and i'm going to be like listening to music and maybe listen to podcasts and stuff but in that time i can also just be going over that song and maybe write write a few lyrics so it's not like this one hour a day songwriting is like a cap on your songwriting it's just like it's that's just like the hour ritual you can like songwrite in your head all day when you're on the bus and actually i think it was dan co that was pointing out that you actually get those real creative ideas when you're not working like when you're when you're like on a walk or in a shower that's that's one of the things that motivated me to start walking again because um he's got a great channel dan co koe he was saying that like he only does four hours of work um even though he's got like a ten thousand you know, ten thousand pound a month business he only does four hours work a day plus these kind of uh intense work periods a few times a year but he'll basically do four hours a day because he says that when when you actually say go for a walk in that time you have so much like you're probably listening to so much podcast and coming up with so I admit this and actually just thinking about stuff that you don't. Um, there's some there's some word for it. It's like the 
the offline network of your brain or something, or the non, there's something neural network. It's a different network that works out different problems. So that's not like a waste of time. You know, I was very resistant to these kind of ideas in the past. I, I would be like, no, I've got like, you know, Gary V says you've got to work 15 hours a day. But, uh, so I'd always think you need to be doing that kind of work, intense, uh, executing type work. But even though for some jobs that, that, that might be what you have to do, but for stuff like the creative stuff, I think a lot of it comes out of these things where you're going on walks and stuff. Or just being, like, maybe going for a, a swim, I don't know, going in the shower. So, um... Yeah, uh, number three uh, lesson was that when I woke up today, I was actually, as usual as I am on normal days, actually, is I, I feel overwhelmed when I look at my calendar. Because I'll make a big calendar full of stuff of, like, I've got to do this, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. And I'll get this feeling of, like, overwhelm. And, um, I you know, I'd say most of the time, that overwhelm causes me to just completely like ruin the whole day because i'll just procrastinate and you get into this like deep procrastination where you've been procrastinating for two or three hours and it's hard to get out of it um so but today i was like well at the very least i'm going to do my one hour songwriting and I'm, and I'm because I, especially because i've just made in the last video when i said i got to put out a video every day so because i've been like well at least i've got to do that so i'm like that took a lot of the overwhelm away. Is is yeah, splitting the day up into segments was the key to get started. Because everything is a segment, isn't it, of your life? So, I think when when I yeah when I look at the the, the calendar, of like oh, I've got to do that and then that and I've got to be in on so yeah, it's very easy just to get overwhelmed and then just try and seek comfort in in just something that's completely unrelated to what you need to do. Uh, so, yeah. S splitting up the day into segments. and a bit, So I've done this one, and then I'm going to go for a walk, and when I come back, you know, maybe I'll do one more segment. And then after that, I think today I might actually just clean up my house after that. And... Um, there's like, there's like bed bugs or something in my house. There's some kind of bug in my house. I was like, like hardly slept last night because I kept on like feeling like things on my skin. I was like, it's a fucking bed bed bug. Um, so yeah, I think there's things like in your house that like will need to get done that you off that I often don't put on the calendar. Just like cleaning and kind of uh, just general stuff in the house. Just, and I think after after I've done two segments of work, like one one segment of work that I've done now, going for a walk, come back, do another important segment of work, and then after that, I'll just take care of kind of the stuff in the house, maybe eat something, maybe you know have a shower and stuff, and maybe I'll do also do a few like sort of shallow tasks at that point, so it's all not so overwhelming, not like. Uh, which was my initial thing that I wrote on that plan, which was overwhelming. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's been good today. Uh, getting up out of bed earlier also felt good. All right, so I'll, make, I'll, I'll post another vi video tomorrow. Cheers.